Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the double integration method, uh, how we are going to apply for uh, simply supported beam with point load and uh, how to find the scope and deflection. So here we consider a simply supported beam with two supports A and B having length L and which is loaded with a point load at the mid span of the beam at the desired point C. So now to solve this type of simply supported beam, we first need to find the reaction forces. So we are going to have RA as the reaction force at support A and RB as a reaction force in support B. So now to we apply our static equilibrium equation, that is all the vertical forces are zero. So what we do, we add up all the forces which are acting up, RA, RB on one side, and we liquidate to the sum of forces which acts on down one, which is P. So we have RA plus RB is equal to P, and let this be our equation number one. So applying our second equilibrium equation, that is we calculate moment about a random point. In this case, we have uh, the support B and we will equate to zero. So here we are going to take all the clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. So we have RA into L is equal to P times L by two. And when we simplify, we just get RA is equal to P by two. Both the L will get canceled and we have RA is equal to P by 2. So once you find RA, you substitute in our equation number 1 so that you get the value of RB, which is P by 2 plus RB is equal to P. So therefore, RB is equal to P by 2. So you have both the reactions equal, which is equal to the half of the applied. So that will be our reaction forces. So now, as usual, we consider a section in XX at uh, a distance of small x from our right support x, sorry, b. And when we calculate the bending moment at this section xx, we have uh, the reaction force p b to r b into the distance x. So the bending moment will be m which is equal to positive p b 2 times x. So now we apply the differential equation for calculating the deflection of 4p, which is Ea d square y by dx square is equal to m, and uh, substitute m is equal to p by 2x, which will give the second equation. And we are going to integrate this equation twice. We will get the slope as well as deflection equation. So when we integrate the equation number two, we get Ea dy by dx is equal to p by 2. So integral of x will become x square by 2. And as usual, we get an integral constant c1. And let us name this equation 3. And just simplify, you get P x square by 4 plus C1. And C1 is the integral constant, and we are going to apply our boundary condition. So when we look into this simply supported beam, uh, we have the slope at mid span will become 0. So this is a boundary condition we need to apply. The slope at mid span that is at x equal to l by 2 the slope is going to become 0. So we just plug this boundary condition into our equation we get. So ea dy by dx is equal to p by 4 and right so this will become 0 and wherever x is 0 we are going to simply put l by 2. So p by 4 l by 2 the whole square plus c1 So we have Ea times 0 is equal to PL square by 16 plus C1. And the integral constant C1 is minus PL square by 16. So we put back in the equation 3, we get Ea dy by dx is equal to P x square by 4 minus PL square by 16. It will be our slope equation. So again, we take the slope equation, we integrate it again, we get our differential equation of deflection. So that is dA into y is equal to px cubed by 12 minus 
PL square X by 16 plus C2. And this be the equation 5. To remove the constant C2, we are applying the boundary condition. At our supports, we know the reflections are 0. So we just take the support B, where X equal to 0, deflection becomes 0. So we have substitute EI into 0 is equal to where X is there again 0. So P 0 cube by 12 minus PL square into 0 divided by 16 plus C2. So we automatically get C2 as 0. So the deflection equation will become EA of y is equal to PX cube by 12 minus PL square X by 16. And this equation is called our differential equation. So when we have the summary we can say the slope equation as EA dy by dx is equal to Px squared by 4 minus Pl squared by 16. Similarly, the deflection equation is EA of y is equal to Px cubed by 12 minus Pl squared by x by 16. So once we know this slope or deflection equation, we can find their values at any location of the beam by substituting the corresponding x value in the required equation. That's it. Thank you all.